do a day in my life. It's 8 a.m. I slept in today. I usually wake up at 7 and do a workout class at 7.30. Today I'm doing a 9 a.m. workout class. Usually when I wake up, I go over to Kyle's room and wake him up. Look at this. Just bad. Just bad. I have successfully woken up Kyle. Now I'm gonna do a quick devotional. This is the New Morning Mercies. Actually, Michelle Reed recommended it and it's really good so far. So I'm gonna do what I need to start off the day and then I need to get dressed and head to my workout class. So I have been going to Orange Theory and I think I'm gonna do a whole video just talking about my Orange Theory experience and sharing like my results from it. It's been really nice to just have a place that I can schedule out my workout, I can leave the house, and it just keeps me accountable because if I sign up, I can't cancel because they charge a cancellation fee. Just finished my workout. I am so sweaty. The cool thing about Orange Theory is you have a little wristband that you wear that keeps track of all of your stats, so I will insert all my stats right here. You'll see how many calories I burned, how many miles I ran, how many splat points I got. Um, I really like that because then I can compare this workout to other workouts. Before I hop in the shower, I'm going to make a to-do list because I have quite a few things I need to get done. But they're all in my head and I get a little frazzled <laughs> when everything's in my head and I don't have it listed out if there's too many things. This is the planner I'm using. It's from Urban Outfitters. That's what the back looks like. You have places for your to-do list but you also have like an hourly schedule out. It's also not dated. I can like hop around and just use it when I really want to because I'm definitely not like an everyday planner. <laughs> I like to split it into different sections, like just general things I need to do, things I need to do for YouTube, things I need to do for my client. It's very helpful just to organize all my thoughts. So my next thing on the to-do list is shower, eat, and clean. So let's do it. I have been loving robe life. It's honestly pretty life-changing. I have never really worn robes before. I found this one at Goodwill for I think $4. <laughs> Kyle bought me some roses yesterday. It was so sweet. And I think I'm just talking to you guys to avoid cleaning. Okay, the first thing I have in the mornings are these break it down enzymes and the trust your gut powders from the brand Aura. I've been taking this for about two months and I think it's really helping. One is a pre and probiotic, and then this one's supposed to help with digestion. And honestly, my bloating has gone down, definitely, since taking these. I hardly, I maybe get a bad bloat like once a week, but I used to get it like every day. So I really think these are working. I'm gonna do one tablespoon. One tablespoon of hot water. Oh my gosh, I made this the other day. I forgot to put sugar in it. That's why it tasted weird. Okay, I'm gonna use coconut palm sugar. I'm not gonna do a full tablespoon because I don't like things too sweet. So, just about that much. Cinnamon, I love cinnamon, especially in my coffee. Life hack, I use a frother. I'm using Trader Joe's. Oat milk, I don't know if I have enough, let's see. Eh, uh, bitter. Sometimes you have to drink it out of the straw because the top layer can be really gross. 
gross. This is the other oat milk that I like. <laughs> looks so much better and I feel so much better mentally so now that everything is taken care of I am going to do a little bikini try on haul this video is sponsored by Cupshe if you guys haven't seen my last video with them I've worked with them before and will continue working with them in the future they have great affordable bikinis that are on trend and also I really love their cover-ups so I'm super excited to show you what I got um, this month and they are going to be having a huge 4th of July sale so I'll leave all that information plus my coupon code in the description so and all the links to these be specific bikinis so you can find them easier. This is the first bikini it's super cute one piece I love just like the ruffle detail and I feel like it's pretty comfortable modest and the back is pretty full coverage and then it just has a clasp like this. This is the next bikini. It is this green one. You can see the pattern up close. I've gotten all of these in a size medium. This is the next one. It's definitely one of my favorites. It has this beautiful floral pattern and I love this little bow detail. The next thing I got was this beautiful cover up. This one. Um, goes to my mid thigh and it's great to throw on if you're like walking to the beach This is gonna be perfect for my honeymoon. This is the next swimsuit. It is literally Highlighter orange, but I think it's really pretty and fun for vacation. The back has this cool detail cut out right up here This one is so beautiful. It definitely screams like bride to me. I love just the scallop detailing on it here and I think it'll be perfect to wear on the honeymoon and if you get up close you can see it is that does have a little pattern on it as well and this is the last bikini it is also orange this one's not as bright um if i could go back i would get the top definitely in a small it has this cool detail on the back however it is not adjustable so that's what it looks like and then i'll show you the last cover up so i think this cover up is really beautiful it is longer so i love that just ties in the back, has this beautiful crochet detail. And I think it would be perfect to wear on the honeymoon. In case you guys were wondering, right now we are planning it for Greece. That is it for the try on portion of this. Thank you again to Cupshe for sponsoring this part of the video. I absolutely love working with them and love how affordable their bikinis are. Again, I will have everything linked in the description if you are interested and let's get on with my day. scramble threw some avocado and hot sauce on it i love eggs okay some exciting wedding stuff is that our save the dates are ready they got sent to kyle's mom and she is going to be addressing all of them and saving or sending them out now i'm looking at our zola registry and i'm just adding a custom header right now and just adding a few things to it. We don't really have much on there because we prefer people just send us money, which sounds kind of bad, but we would rather ha have help funding the wedding and the honeymoon because I think I've said this before, but we are paying for a majority of our wedding. I would say we're paying for about 90% of our weddings. This is the option they give us right now. And I just wanted to do a custom one up here. So I just took one of our engagement photos with the same dimensions and I'm just gonna save that. A few of you have asked for like our registry or an address to send gifts for the wedding. And I think that is like so sweet of you. However, I don't know, I just feel weird doing that. So I was thinking if anything, maybe we'll get like a little PO box. Um, so you guys could send like letters or something um, like that instead of, yeah, I just don't wanna ask anybody for gifts. I would feel really weird about that. 
but if you'd like to send a card or something of congratulations um feel free or if you guys have um your own business and kind of want like a, a product featured maybe then you can also feel free to send that as well i'm just going to show you a preview of what our registry looks like right now i got it all set up in zola we have our wedding fund and honeymoon fund as like the most wanted gift and then i just added a few things a blender a knife set a vacuum toaster wine stuff like i don't know <laughs> all very neutral and then i put a couple home decor things it's cool because you can do it as like a gift a group gift so people can just contribute and so, like i do not expect anyone to pay that much but you know if someone wants to throw 50 dollars towards it i have been dying to open up this package i'm so excited i've been following petal and pup for a while on instagram and i just love all their stuff and i got an email that they had some stuff on sale so i like went and browsed the sale section and i found a few things that i like so i'm so excited to try these on here is the ruffled dress i think it's really pretty it's kind of the pattern um it comes with this belt i don't know if it looks better like tied in the middle or on the side i feel like the cut of this is kind of weird i think i have to like oh do you think it's supposed to go here no it's supposed to go more here is a better look of like the color and the pattern. Here is what the skirt looks like. It's really beautiful, super comfy. Um, I really wish I had the top that matches, but I just paired it with this one from Forever 21. Um, it's a size small. The color obviously it needs to be steamed, but. Here is the next dress. I love it. I think this one is my favorite. I just love the pattern. I love the tie up. I love the square neck. Also, when you take the tie off, you could definitely tuck the straps in and wear this as a skirt um, because it's a midi length. It's not too long, but yeah, I just love it. It's super comfy. Here is an up close of the patterns. <sighs> Okay, I just got another to do off my checklist. I called the bridal store and paid for my veil. And then the mailman came. Today is just a big package day, I guess. So I actually ordered the Kristen made picking berries bag. Um, I'm doing a video inspired by her, which should be out in the next couple weeks. I'm so excited. I've literally been planning it forever. This box is huge. <laughs> I love this style. So cute. I love these handles. Really adorable. That's how I feel when I'm on Instagram for 30 minutes to an hour. I don't know how long I just was on my phone, but I got into an Instagram stories hole um i'm gonna go make some toast i should look at my to-do list again because i feel like i haven't i haven't been that productive i'm really having like it's saturday you know giving myself a break okay not too bad the therapy session and offer up are something i can do really quick so i'm gonna do that right now so i can check more things off so i have been checking offer up periodically to look for wedding stuff um, one thing I mentioned in my last video is like wedding signs and like what do I actually need so a few people said definitely like a gift sign or card box would be important and a guest book sign so I found both of those that offer up this is what I'm getting I'm getting this card box um, and then this knife set because I'm just like whatever and because I was looking online and they're like $40 for freaking cake knife sets anyway so i found these this one i think it's cute and then i'm also getting this please sign our guest book sign and i'm getting it all for 40 dollars, i think total i got a little distracted and started organizing all my goodwill stuff basically i have been thrifting a ton of stuff for the wedding 
Um, so I started putting all the candles in here. I think I have enough of these like smaller ones and the tea light ones. Um, I also have these. I need more of these like big chunky ones. And then I have a bunch of these vases to put them in. I have about 17 vases right now. I also have like these cups that I'm gonna put the small candles in, either a tea light candle or one of these guys if they stand up straight. That should work. I think I'm gonna start taking off these stickers and maybe like watch a movie or something. Taking all the stickers off. I'm using this lemon oil and it helps so much. And I'm watching yeah, the Josh athlete a gymnastics okay. documentary. So it's about the sexual abuse in the gymnastics world. My friend Justine was actually um an ASU gymnast and she told me I should watch it yesterday. So I was like, you know what? That is a perfect thing to watch while I do this. And so far it is really good, really informative, and also really heartbreaking all at the same time. But it's on Netflix if you guys want to watch it. And I'm just going to be here taking off all my stickers. I finished all of these. Took off all the stickers. I never want to take off a sticker again. I am eating some leftover Chipotle. I just started this show. I'm gonna see if I wanna watch another episode. It's a little bit cheesy, but at least the acting's good in it. If you guys are wondering where Kyle is, he is at work and he does Instacart right now, which he literally goes in grocery shops all day and delivers it to people. Um, he was doing life insurance, but God called him out of it. So maybe they'll call him back into it, but right now, Doing this allows him to make his own schedule. It's also bringing in, uh, honestly, a good amount of income and it isn't mentally draining for him, which when he was doing life insurance, it was super mentally draining and spiritually draining and all of that. So I'm just really grateful that he works so hard every day. Hopefully he'll be done around seven or eight. Usually the latest he gets home now is eight. Um, and then usually we go and chill in his room. We actually have a projector, which I'll show in a future video. And we've been using that and we just chill in his room and watch a TV show and then usually go to bed. <laughs> Super exciting. But yeah, I don't know. I might end the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if there's anything else you want to see in the future. And I love you guys so much. Have a good day. Mm -hmm.